Hey folks, it's Hardwolf. Welcome. We have an unboxing today of a new arrival from GMT Games. This is Red Storm Baltic Approaches the Air War over the Baltic. And this is, of course, the long-awaited expansion for Red Storm, which I have played and which I did like quite a bit. So it's, uh, you know, NATO versus Warsaw Pact air battles uh, in a 1987 scenario. Um, this is a uh, substantial expansion, and that is why it is in a standard GMT 2-inch box. And there's a bit of bulge on this box, and I, I'm not sure what's up with that. We're going to find out in a second. So, um, lead design of the downtown system is from Lee Brimicum Wood. Map encounters here are from Darius Burachewski, I think, and Mark Simonich. Box cover is by Ant Antonis Caritas, and layout artist is Charlie Kibler. So, uh, that is the credits on this thing, although I don't know who the designer of the actual product is. So let's uh, let's open her up, stop wasting time, and, and see what we get in here. There was, of course, the dark blue defection um, scenario pack, third party scenario pack that was also released for Red Storm. So um, and the cards that are available through the Game Crafter, all of which I have since I decided I was just going to go whole hog onto Red Storm. Um, so. I like the system. So we have the box is overstuffed because the box is overstuffed. So very simple explanation for that. We are going to fix the overstuffed problem by taking the box insert and throwing it in the waste basket. So we get two dice uh, which are thematically appropriate and we have tens instead of zeros on there. That's nice. We have some really exceptionally tiny, tiny cocaine looking bags and I'm not sure what's up with that. But uh, but let's take a look at the actual game components. So we get a, you know, like I said, substantial expansion here. I believe Red Storm comes with two maps. Well, this comes with two more. Um, it comes with Rules of Play. This is a full-color 16-page booklet um, on the standard GMT matte finish stuff, which I am fond of. Uh, print is a little bigger than I think War Game is standard. Looks like we have a decent amount of rules expansion here. And for those wondering, the Red Storm is reasonably complicated. So if you're looking for a, a light air-to-air -air combat system, maybe look elsewhere. But uh, I found it very engaging. Um, we have an appendices book, which contains orders of battle. Let's look at this, actually. This is another 20-page uh, book. So there's, there's a lot here, right? Um, so here's your orders of battle. NATO orders of battle, Warsaw Pact orders of battle, um, lists of airfields and their airfield class and all and what directions the runways go in and all that. If you're worried about the direction that the runway is, is lined up in, then you're talking about a fairly detailed system. We have a comprehensive example of play, which is fantastic. Appendix E designer's notes. Select, select bibliography, which is always nice to have. There is a beefy feeling scenario book, which is 48 pages. Again, full color, same matte finish stuff. And we have uh, too many scenarios literally to count. Looks like we have 27 scenario. Looks like we have 25 scenarios, two campaigns, and four solo scenarios. Um, so there's a lot here, and I don't know that we'll get much out of me just leaping through this booklet for the next 10 minutes, so I'm not going to. But the the uh, the takeaway message here is that there is a rich scenario selection. Uh, let's see if there's anything else at the very end. We're into the solo scenarios here. Of course, solo scenarios are attractive to many people. Okay, so there's that. We get a counter sheet in an already counter-heavy game, actually, I might add. So we get a whole bunch more planes. Uh, looks like these are almost all planes, but we do get some ground units here, too. Ground units are represented in the game in a somewhat abstract way. And you can see we have naval task forces as well. Since this is, you know, after all, Baltic approaches. Um, we have a naval log sheet uh, with a little area for each task force here. That's pretty cool. We've got some player's aid cards, USSR aircraft data cards, Polish aircraft data card, uh, Warsaw Pact naval data. Interesting if the uh, 
ships that have been sunk in the current conflict are on that list, but probably not since those were Black Sea Fleet. Uh, here we have NATO and Swedish uh, aircraft data and NATO and naval. Here we have U.S. Uh, US Navy naval and U.S. Marine Corps aircraft data and a whole bunch of different uh, aircraft. A lot of different aircraft are represented in this game. And this is player aid card 6, which has an updated air detection table, naval detection table, air to surface attack table, scenario random events, okay. And then we have two maps, so let's see what, if I can show you. So there's not a lot of ground detail on these maps, but that's because it's an air game, right? So the ground detail basically boils down to, are you over water, land, or a city? And that's about it. Um, so up here we have uh, Denmark, looks like. Okay, uh, here's Kiel, right here. I'm not going to be able to lay this flat just because of my... <laughs> all the Origins loot is in the way. Um, but we have the Isle of Funen, the Isle of Langeland. I assume that's how that's pronounced, the island of Lolland. And this is the Jutland Peninsula, one would presume. Here's Flensburg. Um, if we look at the other one, we're going to get into probably a bit of Swedish territory. Looks like it. Uh, maybe not. Looks like looks like it's still Denmark. Now we got a little bit of Sweden here too. So um, maps are, you know, like I said, you're not going to get a lot of ground detail on these maps, but these do, at a glance, look like they match the um, maps from Red Storm itself. And I, I think you can actually combine the two and not and not just play this independently. But that is going to be the fruit of further <laughs> investigation. Uh, of the substantial material that is included in this box. So, let's throw everything back in the box here. I apologize for the noise, by the way, but it is absolutely insufferably hot right now, and I am not going to turn the air conditioner off to record this video. So I apologize for that, but um, I you know, work in essentially an attic, so uh, it's really hot up here right now, yeah, air conditioner or no. So. Super excited to get my hands on Red Storm Baltic Approaches. Very solid system if you want a detailed, uh, you know, Cold War Gone Hot type of situation uh, game. Uh, this is a big, beefy expansion to Red Storm, and I think Red Storm uh, owners and fans will definitely want it. If you found this video useful, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do support the channel. Thank you, patrons of Ardwolf Slayer, um, for all your assistance. It is via you that this, uh, this channel can keep making content of all kinds including this kind of content, so thanks so much. Until next time, thanks for watching, and happy wargaming.